Thank you guys so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. I'm the one who's going to be pulling you a couple of cards and just talking a little bit very quickly on um, possibly your uh, reading for November 2020. I'd like to thank Nicole for allowing me uh, this platform to you know, uh, give me a message that possibly may resonate with you. So I really do appreciate that. All right. And it looks like to my dear Aries, and thank you all so much for looking at your October readings for 2020. So basically, we have a couple of shout outs here, my dear Aries, and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this all the way through. Thank you for taking the time to subscribing to Nicole's channel as well, especially if there is something that I cannot answer for you because I don't know everything. Uh, Nicole is a wonderful spiritual coach. You know, she has not only helped me so much in the past, but continues to do so. So, you know, uh, definitely somebody who I would recommend. All right. So we have, and I do apologize if I mispronounce anyone's name. We have uh, Rameta Mustafa. Uh, thank you so much for leaving your loving comment. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Also, too, last and certainly not least, we have Divine Timing and Healing. All right, uh, thank you so much. And you left a few comments, so we're just going to touch on uh, the main one that really stuck out to me. You know, you're lit, honey bunny. Uh, thank you. It must be the new lighting that I'm working with. I do appreciate that. <laughs> Is my skin glowing? Thank you so much. I do appreciate that. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch and for participating. All right, but the, really, the thing that really stuck out to me was... Um, you had mentioned a number 545. Um, yes, that definitely has a lot to do with rest and relaxation. Uh, also has a lot to do with working with the Ascended Masters, all right? Also has a lot to do with what you are putting into your body, all right? Um, and we all have gone through interesting times or, you know, possibly if somebody out there has dealt with any particular types of issues, whether it's addiction, you know, anything like that. Um, and, you know, I've led a very interesting life, if you will. All right. And the reason why I'm on here giving this message is in hopes that it helps somebody. You know, um, people may have seen, you know, videos I made. And they're just like, geez, Louise, Carolyn, like, what is this? You know, uh, I put that out there because honestly, I wanted people to see what happens, you know, if you are in a downfall and how you can take yourself out of it because I've been there and I've done that, all right? My goal here is to possibly help somebody out there. So let's, and uh, also too, 545, you know, concentrating again on what you put into your body, uh, the water, definitely filtrating your water. Also too, um, any chemicals, anything like that, you're going to want to be concentrating on as well. All right. Also, too, this is being honest with yourself. You know, 545 also is secrets being revealed. All right. It also means being honest um, to a point. And, you know, Aries, I love my Aries out there, my, my fire signs. Your rolling planet is Mars. You know, possibly a tool that may be helpful to you. Uh, is working with this crystal. It's called selenite right here. All right. It's a very low maintenance uh, stone crystal, very low maintenance crystal here, you know, uh, and it's funny because I like to laugh at myself and I like to kind of portray things because, you know, I'm not perfect. Nobody out there is. And this is basically letting you know that this is purifying. This crystal can help you uh, purify not only yourself, your environment. All right, again, very low maintenance. So when it comes to cleansing crystals and stuff like that, you can use the moonlight energy. You can use the sun. You know, uh, different crystals you do want to be careful of because uh, some are more delicate than others. So when it comes to, like, uh, you know, putting them in a salt bath or anything like that. But let's just get on to the good stuff. I want to thank you all so much for, you know, again, taking the time to watch, giving me a chance, and uh, also giving this channel a chance to make sure you give this channel here a thumbs up, subscribe to it, hit the bell icon so then you don't miss a thing. Okay, so thank you. 
So let's just see. And again, I do understand all of you are in different areas of your life, especially when it comes to love. This could have to do with, you know, uh, being single, possibly being in that should I stay, should I go relationship. Some of you possibly could be already coupled up with somebody out there. All right. So we're just going to play three cards here to kind of see what uh, November has to bring. Okay. So we have the queen of air right here. So Aries, you are a fire sign when it comes to working with other air signs. You could possibly be working with a Gemini, possibly maybe even working with a Libra, maybe even Aquarius. All right. Uh, this card here, it says independent, experienced, realistic, witty. Uh, on the bottom here, it says objective decision making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, clearing out, you know, the clutter, keeping your atmosphere, you know, clean, keeping your desk clean. Uh, and we are in interesting times right now. And I do understand that sometimes it's not always that easy to do that. You know, but we are here to help each other and work on things together. It also says here, seeing the humor of a situation. And I find that really uh, interesting because I was just saying that. All right. And uh, this is really some of you could be working with this. Again, this could have to do with love. This could have to do with friends, family, uh, possibly cross watcher, pull up a seat. Maybe this can this can go vice versa. This is not gender specific here. But some of you are very, very psychic. Some of you have that intuitive knowing uh, what's going on. You have that, you know, gut feeling. And sometimes it's very hard when we are waving away the red flags there. All right. You're very witty. You know what you're doing. All right. And this is seeing beyond somebody's circumstances as well. Possibly you've been in circumstances that you've it's just like, you know, it doesn't feel comfortable. Like, this isn't who I am. This is not what my career was supposed to be. This is not who I was supposed to be dating. Why do I keep falling for the same type of stuff, all right? Uh, this is letting you know that you can change now. It is never too late. We are always changing. We are always uh, evolving. And you do have what it takes. So that fiery energy within you, my dear Aries, I absolutely love this. This is very positive. You know, and it's just like, I'm seeing who's real here and who is fake. All right. We've got the queen of air here. All right. So we have like, what, what's my king been doing here? Is he seeing her or seeing him or what's going on? Uh, what's my destination? Possibly some of you have moved. All right. Also, too, I get a lot of questions as far as, you know, what's going on with the world today. Well, we are looking at a great awakening. All right. Uh, you know, life will forever be changed. However, when we look at it, you know, through the spectrum of all that's going on here, you know, there's no reason to be scared of it. And many blessings and many prayers out there to those that have dealt with, you know, um, all of this that this may have brought to you. All right. This is a great awakening, if you will. This is opening your eyes like, aha, you know, I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't be doing that. Let me change myself so I can change my future outcome because you do not have to listen to these cards or to me. You just listen to yourself and that's the hardest thing that we can do. All right. Uh, but this is making a very objective decision, especially if this is a legal matter for some of you, crossing your T's, dotting your I's, starting from scratch, you know, um, and I've made plenty of mistakes too. And uh, it's like now learning how to, okay, are we going to just lay down and get steamrolled here? Or are we going to do something about this? How dedicated are you to this? All right, let's pull you another card, especially when it comes to love. Just a really quick message for somebody out there. And I'm very grateful that, you know, Nicole has allowed me to share on here. So let's see. Okay, we have like... What does it say? Like attracts like. All right. On the bottom here, it says you are longing for more love in your life. You need to be more loving. Or if you're, if you want, uh, and it's pretty much self-explanatory. What we put out is what we get. You know, I've often caught myself many times, you know, uh, situations, wrong, wrong type of friends, uh, wrong type of relationships. And, you know, you could, you could totally date somebody that's completely different looking, uh, has a different job, has a different, 
you know, uh, way that they dress has a different perspective on life. And it's just like, okay, but they're still bringing in the same type of energy. So what is this? You know, what are we doing? We are cutting away everything that no longer serves us. <laughs> it's not easy. All right. Like does attract like. All right. It's going within. And I do talk about that a lot when it comes to self-love. And people are like, boring. We don't want to hear about that stuff, Carolyn. Just come on. Stop wasting our time. Just tell us when it, when he's going to be here, when she's going to be here. No, right off the bat. And, you know, people may get upset with that, and that's okay. You know, uh, it's their journey. And it's your journey, too. It's your life. And honestly, what we're putting out there, and it's just like, all right, so we've done stuff in the past that may, our ghosts from the past may haunt us to this day. All right, well, what are we going to do about it? What are we going to do about it? But if you're longing for more love in your life, if you're longing for more friendships in your life, you know, it's how you're treating yourself. And some people may not like that. I'm just going to be straight up and honest with you. Some people may find that very offensive. Okay, again, that's all right. That's their opinion, and they are entitled to it. However, if you do not want that to be a part of your journey, then you're going to want to keep it moving and keep it forward. All right, you also have number two right here. All right, that is partnerships. That could be finding a new love for some of you, which is very exciting. Some of you may be like, Carolyn, I'm all good. <laughs> I don't want to meet anyone. I mean, you know, especially it's not that hard in the times that we're in. Just like, all right, keep your distance because I don't want to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, we are awakening and you are not alone. Partnerships, this could have to do with collaborating. Uh, this could have to do with, you know, finding that new partner. This could possibly be working on an existing relationship that you already may be in, reigniting that fiery, airy spark here. I mean, you are working with the uh, planet Mars energies as far as your ruling planet goes. All right, so your very last message here. And um, thank you all so much. And again, I do appreciate you. I do adore you. Let's see what your little last message is here for our Aries when it comes to November 2020. We have the Druid here, and this says hold space. All right. Some of you could also be working with Earth signs. Uh, for some that may be unfamiliar, Earth signs, you'd be looking at Capricorn, Virgo, possibly maybe Taurus. But this is holding your sacred space, you know, um, and I've had to do this to, you know, get the locks changed in case if you, you let somebody who you thought you could trust have a key for when you go to take care of your pets, maybe whoever, uh, just to kind of watch the place, you know, also to creating that sacred boundary, you know, um, and saying no to certain things, whether it's particular projects, whether it's particular people, if you're not feeling that energy or feel like that they're not willing to change and at least be honest with you, then you don't need it. All right. Also, too, this is somebody that is very wise. And this is also holding space for yourself as well. I do apologize about the noise uh, out back there. But again, interesting times that we're in. Am I going to let that affect me? No. Am I going to let that stop me? Absolutely not. All right. So I'm finding, or some of you could be working with somebody that has a motorcycle, maybe meeting somebody like that, you know, uh, the internet. There's a lot of wonderful groups out there that you can get in contact with. Uh, a lot of wonderful new people to meet. However, I feel like for a lot of my dear Aries out there, you're being very uh, careful right now. And it's just like, okay, I wanted to wake up, I wanted to be enlightened, but I'm not so sure I like what I'm seeing, whether it's in myself, whether it's in another person, and that can be the hardest thing to do. This is holding that sacred space, all right? Uh, also, too, when it comes to relationships, this is, again, uh, finding out things about people, and that can be very scary. It's like, should I say something? Shouldn't I say something? My gosh, this is overwhelming. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. I get it. I completely get it. And sometimes, Aries, you may kind of put yourself out there or not. Uh, it's just like, all right, I want to see how far a person's willing to take it with me, or I want to see who's who and what's what here. All right. 
Uh, a lot of people may ask me, what do you mean uh, you've, you've, you've given readings to celebrities and stuff like that? Well, you've got Google search and all this and that out there. Okay, well, they may come to you um, masked so you don't even know who they are, okay, uh, for that reason. Not to say that, you know, particular websites are really all that accurate with their information. However, you are uh, a person that is very accurate, my dear Aries. You want facts. You want documentation. You want to know, like, you want your receipts, if you will. All right? So, again, trusting your gut instinct, you know, and this is wonderful. I'm really seeing a lot of great things happening here for you. Holding your sacred space. You know, even if you're feeling like, all right, uh, I need that rest. I need that walk outside. However, uh, I feel like it's dangerous, you know, and it, it can be. Life is. And it's who we surround ourselves with, which are going to help bring out the best in us. So thank you. Hopefully this was helpful to somebody out there. But remember, you got all these right here. What work? What, what can you do for yourself today? You know, uh, cooking that meal that you really like, you know, uh, possibly going down a road of a career that you've always wanted to do, possibly asking that person on a date or whatever, <laughs> whatever they can do nowadays, because I'm not so sure. It's just like, OK, I'm happy. I'm happy being single, Carolyn. I really am. You know, but this is also very wise. This is also getting advice from a teacher, possibly a mentor and you know, I find it great that I pulled this card during uh, these readings on Spiritual Guidance Academy here because Nicole is a fabulous coach. She's a fabulous teacher. And, you know, give her a chance and be respectful about that. Don't waste her time. And, uh, you know, it, it's really cool how she works with people. So thank you all so much. And uh, hopefully I will see you all soon.